This is a reading of the article Global Warming Slash Greenhouse Effect. Have you ever seen a greenhouse? Most greenhouses look like a small glass house. Greenhouses are used to grow plants, especially in the winter. Greenhouses work by trapping heat from the sun. The glass lets light in but keeps the heat from escaping. This causes the greenhouse to heat up and keeps the plants warm enough to live in the winter. The Earth's atmosphere is all around us. It is the air that we breathe. There are molecules in our atmosphere called greenhouse gases that act like the glass in the greenhouse. Sunlight enters the Earth's atmosphere and some is used by plants. The rest of the light makes heat. The greenhouse gases act like a blanket and trap the heat in our atmosphere. Trapping this heat makes the Earth's weather warmer. This is called global warming. The greenhouse effect is important. Without it, the Earth would not be warm enough for humans to live. In fact, the temperature of the Earth's surface would be about 60 degrees Fahrenheit colder. But when there are too many greenhouse gases, too much heat can be trapped, making the Earth warmer than normal. Even a little extra warming can be a problem for most of the life on Earth. The Earth is currently warming. The 1990s were the hottest decade of the last 100 years, and 1998, 2001, and 2002 were three of the hottest years ever recorded. Scientists agree that this warming is because of humans putting out greenhouse gases. One greenhouse gas is carbon dioxide. Some human activities that put off greenhouse gases are factories, burning fuel, and cutting down trees. There are several molecules that, green, that are greenhouse gases. One of these molecules is the water molecule. When water is trapped in the air, it traps sun's heat. Water is the most common and natural greenhouse gas. Carbon dioxide is another molecule that is a greenhouse gas. It naturally moves through the carbon cycle, but humans have been putting extra carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, which traps the sun's heat more than normal. Another greenhouse gas molecule comes from the nitrogen fertilizers that farmers put on their fields. Climate change is the word used to talk about the change in weather patterns. Greenhouse gases are not the only thing that changes our climate, but it is the biggest factor. The following are some important facts about global warming. Scientists think the global temperature will go up 2.5 to 10.4 degrees Fahrenheit in the next 100 years. Some areas of the world will warm up more than others. For example, America will show a larger increase in temperature than Antarctica. Because it is warmer, there is more rain. This has raised global sea level by 4 to 8 inches. Mountain and Arctic glaciers are shrinking. To stop temperature increases, the greenhouse gases in the atmosphere must be stabilized. We must decrease the amount of greenhouse gases we put out. If we do not make any changes, many cities that are by the ocean will be flooded and will have more storms. Also, warmer weather makes disease spread faster. There are some good things about global warming. For example, farms will be able to grow crops longer in the warmer weather. Also, there will be more water available in some areas. However, these good things are not enough to balance out the bad things. As temperature rises, people will try to make changes to adapt to the new warmer weather. But some areas are not as able to adapt because some things are hard to adapt to. For example, 
big storms and floods will always be destructive. One way to remove the greenhouse gas called carbon dioxide, or CO2, from the atmosphere is through plants. Plants do photosynthesis, which takes CO2 out of the atmosphere. The two largest places with plants are the oceans and the forests. Increasing our forests is a good way to reduce the carbon dioxide in our atmosphere, but this will not be good enough to stabilize the greenhouse gases in our atmosphere. Humans need to stop putting out so many greenhouse gases. We need everyone to help stabilize global warming. The following are some ways, some examples of ways you can reduce the amount of greenhouse gases that you put off. Buy energy efficient appliances like a refrigerator, washer, dryer, furnace, water heater. Plant trees. Walk or take the bus instead of driving yourself. Recycle. Another important thing to do is use renewable energy sources. For example, solar energy, wind energy, or water energy. This will reduce the amount of fuel we burn and the amount of greenhouse gases that go into the atmosphere. It is possible to stop using these greenhouse producing fossil fuels, but it will not be easy. It will take a lot of work from scientists, laws from those who work in the government, and better city planning. As new ideas come out, we can change and stop using fossil fuels. It is clear that global warming is a serious problem. Luckily, there are actions we can take to slow it down, but it will take everyone working together, governments, industry, communities, and individuals to make a real difference.